Hello, this is Janelle Alexander from Love Living DC. August 24th was a historic day for Ward 4. City officials, residents, educators, and alumni gathered to celebrate the opening of two new schools. After a two-year hiatus, the students and teachers of Calvin Coolidge High School returned to a fully modernized school. We also witnessed the birth of the ward's second middle school, named after pioneer activist Ida B. Wells. This $158 million investment in the future of our children will make our community an even greater place to live, work, and play. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from today's events. I am Samantha Bright, and I am the proud principal of Calvin Coolidge High School. This morning, as you know, our wait is over. We are here to celebrate. We are here to mark a different era in the Coolidge family. We are here to change lives. And I would like to present to you our mayor, Mario Bowser. Thank you. But they were focused because they knew that every child in the District of Columbia deserves a state of the heart, a state of the art high school. They deserve teachers and staff that come to the school every day wanting to challenge them with creativity and love. And when they get in this school, they know that it has been worth the wait. It is my pleasure to stand here with your council member for War 4, council member Brandon Todd. Please give him a big round of applause. And it is true that there were some years when some money got moved around. It wasn't council member Todd and it definitely wasn't me. But I will tell you uh, that we stood with council member to pull this project across the line and make sure that the final funding was available for Coolidge Senior High School. Thank you, Council Member Todd. The Coolidge community has definitely waited a long time, and we know that investing in high quality learning environments is one of the best things that we can do for all of our children, all of our families, and all of our neighborhoods. You talked, we listened, and we learned so much about how the program in this school is going to be laid out. And our principal, Samantha Bright, where is this principal Bright go? is the leader to make sure that the program matches your best expectations for Coolidge. We know that families told us they wanted a high quality neighborhood school. 
where children in Tacoma and Brightwood and Riggs LaSalle and uh, all of South Manor Park and all of the surrounding neighborhoods could walk to school. Educators told us that they wanted an on-site middle school right here in this beautiful building. And following this dedication, we're going to go right around the corner to the brand new Ida B. Wells Middle School. We made a $158 million investment in making sure that this campus has everything that we need. We made that investment because the Coolidge community includes the families of students who are just entering pre-K at our feeder schools. Earlier this week, I was just over at Whittier uh, celebrating the achievement of Whittier Scholars because they had a double-digit gain in math and in reading on our park assessments. And those gains were achieved with African-American students, with Latino students, and with students with disabilities. And those Whittier students have a pathway right to Coolidge through Ida B. Wells. So there's many fantastic things happening in Ward 4 schools. And we continue to need your help and to be a part of telling all of your neighbors and new families, educating parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles about the great things happening in public education right here in their neighborhood. And did you know uh, that Coolidge is going to be one of our early college sites. Did you know that Coolidge is going to focus on educating our children to get jobs in the health sciences, high paying, good jobs that will make staying in Washington, D.C. their future. I couldn't be prouder of being with you today to help open this incredible, incredible new school. And I am going to stand side by side with your council member, with your state board member, with the chancellor, the principal, and all the teachers and staff here to make sure sure that our best expectations are right, met right here at Coolidge. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Brandon Todd and I'm privileged to represent the best 84,000 residents that the District of Columbia has to offer right here in Ward 4. And I am proud to stand with all of you, with Mayor Bowser, uh, with Terry Goings, with State Board Member O'Leary, and all of the government uh, who helped to make today possible. I want to thank uh, a few people in the community, particularly the Tacoma community, uh, the Brightwood community, the Manor Park and South Manor Park communities, and the Riggs and Lamont communities who have been so focused on making sure that this school got its full modernization. So everybody, let's give all of our communities a big round of applause. Uh, especially those who participated in sit team meetings in the Coolidge cabinets uh, and in a number of meetings to make sure that this school reflected uh, our values right here in War 4. Let's also give our Calvin Coolidge Senior High School scholars a big round of applause who will start school uh, on Monday morning. Nearly two years ago, we broke ground right here in this very spot with the promise of a state-of-the-art learning facility that would help our students, World War IV students, unlock their full potential. We faced many hurdles getting to today. We lost budget funding. The project was delayed, but Ward 4 community members and our government stayed resolute and stayed focused so that we would have the opportunity to unlock a $158 million investment at this fantastic senior high school. 